Another day, another ride. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, here's a nice little roundabout. I always think it'd be fun to just keep going round and round. Let's go this way. Anyway, I'm Skitch on Wheels. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, but yeah, I make YouTube videos about riding my Harley Davidson, my 2020 Lowrider S, and my 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Today, by the sound, the look, I'm on my 20 Lowrider S. And it's gonna be a great day. We're heading out of Knoxville, and I'm gonna ride the Dragon. Yeah, the tail of the dragon's about an hour from my house, 45 minutes. We're heading out that way. I was honestly hoping it'd be a lot colder than it is right now. It's about 62 degrees on a Friday. I would prefer it to be cold today, uh, just because, quite honestly, the tail of the dragon is dangerous. Not necessarily for me and my riding ability. Um, obviously, I'm on a Harley Davidson. 114 cubic inch, 114 horsepower, 128 pounds of torque. But you know, that's all good when you're going in a straight line. Uh, but yeah, this is a big heavy bike. It does corner well for a Harley, and that's why I chose it over a bagger. But at the same time, it is definitely um, gonna be beat by 90% of the bikes and cars that are out there on the, uh, out there on the tail of Dragon only because that's the way I'm going to ride it. So my thought process is if I go out on a cold day and in the winter, we're at the end of December right now, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that it's not busy. Um, I honestly won't ride it during the summer on a weekend. It's just too dangerous. I mean, everybody's just zipping around going crazy on that thing. Um, I've been up there when I've seen bikes off into the side. It's just not a place that I like to ride except when it's not busy and every once in a while I like to do the really twisty things so and I'll probably take the Himalayan out there actually it would probably do better I bet if I started at Deals Gap which is where we're going today and uh, that's on the North Carolina side so we're gonna start there and come back towards Knoxville um, I bet if I was on the Himalayan which is 411 cc's 25 horsepower and I pushed this bike through it, and I pushed the Himalayan through it, I bet my time would be faster on the Himalayan. I just really do. I don't know what it weighs, three, 400 pounds, something like that. But I can move that thing. I, I would have a lot of fun riding Tail of the Dragon on the Himalayan. And I think I might do that sometime, uh, just to see, just to compare between the two bikes. But anyway, today, Tail the Dragon during the winter. It's 62 degrees. I can't call that winter weather. I don't have any heated gear on now. Uh, there's a video you can look up where I tested out some heated gear, which I do ride and I do like, and it is continuing to work well for me. But this is kind of an oddball day being 62 and sunny. I don't have anything extra on. I don't even have winter gloves on. So it could be a little bit busy out there. We'll have to see. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna pick it up when we get to, I think it's Topoka Lodge on North Carolina in about an hour, and then head to Deals Gap, the start of the Dragon. We'll see you in a minute. Motorcycles high crash area. Should I put my skitch on wheels up there? Nah, let's go.
So you might have guessed that I had to ride actually on the dragon through the dragon to get here. Historic Topoka Lodge. So, like my goofy little camera out front there, you <laughs> got no bird's eye view. I don't think the restaurant's open. Teresa and I ate here one time and it was really, really nice. Made it through the dragon once. I filmed a little bit, um, not of me talking, but just some some views, different points from the camera, from the bike. Um, it's wet, it's slippery, it's dangerous. You just gotta go slow today. There's hardly any bikes out. There's more trucks and cars on it than anything. Um, but yeah, here, gonna take about a 10 minute break. Uh, I don't think anything's open, but could use a water, that's for sure. And then we'll head over to Deals Gap where the official start of the Dragon will begin and then we'll ride that all the way back and then head back to Knoxville. Let's go have a look around. So as you can see, it's winter time and nobody's out here. During the summer, this is a really good place to come and eat. I'll tell you what, if you like a good margarita, there's a good one here to be had. All right, gonna head out from Topoka Lodge here, and three miles up the road is the Deals Gap, actually the start of the Dragon. Let's go head up there. Honey, can you bring the truck? We got ourselves a hot tub out here on the Dragon. And here we are, Deals Gap, rolling in. No burnout, stoppies, or wheelies. Dang it. Alrighty, made it to Deals Gap. Still got some bikers here. It's closed though, today. I was hoping to get a little bit of a Red Bull or coffee or something. So the goal today was not to make it onto the Tree of Shame here at Deals Gap. Um, as you can see, the lowrider is in one piece. Not going to make it on the Tree of Shame today. Um, I do have to go back though. Uh, so I've ridden it to get here and now we're going to start here and I'm going to videotape going back. Alrighty, here we go. Just leaving Deals Gap, starting on the Dragon. The road is a little slick up here. It's been wet in places, and there's also some kind of film on it from 
salt or brine, whatever they put down on the road, because we had some snow a couple days ago. There's even little patches of ice here and there. So it's not busy today, and that's what I want. Welcome to Tennessee. So just like that, we're back into the good state. Now he's going a little fast. He's kind of racing. So the problem out here isn't necessarily the motorcycles. There's a lot of hot rod cars that that ride the Dragon. And, and it can be motorcycles too, but people like to cross the center line. Through. Oh, okay, that was dangerous. Time to stop. There's always accidents up here. Shoot, the last time I rode this, there was an RV on the side of the road that had just burnt. Now, why anybody's up here in an RV pulling an RV, a fifth wheeler, I have no idea. About seven and a half miles to go and then I'll be out of it and I can get out of second gear. How about that? I could probably get out of second gear if I wanted to. But as soon as I went into third gear, boom, I'd be back in the second gear. It's third gear. And right back to second gear. Nice turn here. There's what I hate right there. All that salt. The road is drier than when I came out though, I'm gonna say that. Mile five. Five. We are at mile number five. There goes the Honda van, the Honda Odyssey out here running the track. <laughs> yeah! Give me a Honda Odyssey and some cool tunes and head out to the dragon. Hang out with all the Odyssey riders. Look at it's SUV day. A Jeep? Another Honda Pilot? It is pretty up here. People don't just ride it for the turns. It's just a really nice drive. I feel like cutting across. The problem with cutting across some of these things, when there is no one coming, is the paint it gets slippery. Now there's a little race car. Here we're wet here too. Back it on down. Whee! 
Yeah, clearly not pushing anything here. No reason to. So if you watch this video, and you're like, all oh, gals, what that is. If you watch this video and you're like, yeah, I want to see what the dragon is. I want to see who can ride a, run the dragon with a Harley Davidson really fast. You've come to the wrong place. There are some guys doing it, but... Give it a little pep here. I just worry about getting some, some loose stuff or some wet stuff. Oh, I thought I saw a bear up there. I'm telling you, that tree falling over looked like a big old black bear. That would have made my day. Oh, we're gonna get some views here. Nice. Woo. Look at that. Look at those big power lines in that view. <laughs> hey, we gotta have power, right? Can't be off the grid. All right, all right, all right. Got a call today, today. It was a fun four or five hour trip, I guess, all totaled, with stops and all. Nice riding the 129 Dragon, a little piece of Tennessee, North Carolina history. Uh, 
wasn't busy, which is nice. A little wet, a little grimy road, but that's okay. I'm not there to set records. I'm there just to ride. I appreciate you watching the channel. You know what to do. If you want to give a thumbs up, you do it. If you want to subscribe, you do it. And stay tuned because we got Zoe coming right up. Today's one more thing with Zoe segment. It's just a little bit different. I'm going to give some backstory to this. Um, about two and a half years ago, Zoe started a diamond art project. Um, it's pretty involved. She loves diamond art. But as you know, some of you know Zoe, she's uh, 29 years old, she has Kabuki syndrome, lots of surgeries, lots of occupational physical therapy, uh, so it's a pretty big undertaking for her to do this. Uh, she spent two and a half years creating this diamond art for her brother who's a United States Marine. So I'll let the rest of the video do the talking. You've been working for years on this. Thank you, Zoe. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Love by Zoe. Oh, there you go. Move, Zoe. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. She worked two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half years on this. <laughs> Yeah. It turned out good, didn't it? It looks really good. Cool. The, the people at we went and got it framed at Hobby Lobby and got that thing put on it, and the woman was crying when we did it. Anna, come see That's so cool. 